The herbs and spices of this fish. Wow. I gotta say it. This has got to be one of the best fishes you're gonna eat in Birmingham. Welcome to Alfred Street, just off the Ladypool Road behind me is Shimla's and this is your official bit of review. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of the Ladypool Road, stone throw away is Alfred Street, right? And behind me is a new establishment called Shimla's. There's a massive who and ha about it. It used to be La Favorito, right? It's now changed. Let's go on in, let's check it out. A new joint, it used to be called Favoritos first, an Italian place. I used to come here many, many moons ago. But Shimla's, these guys are from Bradford. And Bradford is one of the capitals of the country when it comes to Asian traditional food. Okay, they brought something special to Birmingham. It's time to order and check out what the Who and Ma is all about. Follow me. Guys, I'm out trying to discover new food places. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon. Here comes the rest of your video. Now they tell me that Donna specialist, right? So I want to go, first of all, start a dynamite, dynamite prawns, right? Then we're going down the lines of a tandoori meat chops, uh, some chicken pakora, uh, chicken donna, meat tikka donna, and then we're going down the lines of mutton handi, uh, a dal handi, some naan bread. It's all happening here, right? Because, like I said, the, these guys are originally from Bradford. Now, if you want a karai or you want a handi, right, best place for it, best place. Bradford is probably one of the most traditional places outside of Pakistan. You're going to get this, but I think without further ado, it's time. Let's get some kitchen action. Let's go. It's all access. I've got the packet of Shimla's right behind me. Nobody gets to go into here. Only if you're the bearded bros, you get to come in here and ask all the weird and wonderful questions. You get to meet the bosses, you get to see the food cooking in action. It's all good, right? Being on the front in the restaurant, but you don't know what's going on in the back end. That's the reason why you watch the videos. I've been joined by Nav. Nav is the proprietor. How are you, Nav? Asalaamu As 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 Alhamdulillah, very good. You're good? Very good, very good. Yo, how long have you been you guys here for? Uh, we've been here open last month and a half. Month and a half. Um, and in the restaurant trade, Shimla's has been running in Bradford for the last 40 odd years. So this is your that. second branch? This is our sixth branch. Sixth branch? Sixth branch wow. Family. We're up wow. Yorkshire, um, Leeds, Bradford, two sites in Bradford, um, Keithley, Oldham, and inshallah Halifax in the next month or so as well. Oh, wow. yeah, okay, fair enough. And so this is your sixth branch. What are you bringing different to Birmingham that we haven't already got? We, we, this is something that's world famous. Um, we're not as busy as blood for that moment. Inshallah, we'll get there. We go through about a thousand dollars a day. A thousand? A thousand dollars a day. A thousand orders of dollars a day. 
A thousand orders yeah. a donor. The donor must be bloody good. We have six robots running at busy periods in Bradford and you're still waiting about 40 minutes, half an hour for the donor wow. order. And That's so, so let, me, let me get this right. This donor here, right? This, you put together yourself. This is done ourselves. And everything. Masala, it's done in one centre unit in Bradford and it's sent out or distributed to all of branches. And would you tell me the ingredients if I asked you? <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. One of these days somebody's going to spill the beans and I'm going to have my own restaurant. That's what's going to happen. Nobody's telling me any secrets. Anyway, look at this, look at this. Let me flick the camera and hold it. So tell me now, what's going on with this industrial side turning have, itself? We have an uh, automated grill, uh, just help us cook a char grill. So it's getting the flavour of the coals. Uh, char flavour. How Good important is food. that? How important is that actual cold flavour to the truck? It is very important. You can't just cook it on gas, yeah, right? Yeah, just cook it on gas. You're not going to get the flavour. We do at Shimless compared to any other restaurant, and we hear people, oh, your food takes a bit longer. It takes longer because we cook, as you can see, from scratch. Now them chops would need about 20, 20 odd minutes to cook. Same with the meat let, let me explain this to the. Let me explain this to you. But on the menu he says, right? I ordered lamb chops, and he says twenty five minutes. They think, eh? Why so long? Because they have to be from scratch. Yeah. You are cooking these from raw. Sure, raw yeah. So what are the other restaurants doing? They're actually pre cooking. Major majority, not everybody, but majority of restaurants, they pre cook the uh, chops and stuff. What they'll do is just two three minutes, like you when you go to Nando's and you'll see. The throw it on the char grill, yep. heat it up and send it out. That's how they send it out so quick. So why these, somebody these like should us, taste, these should taste better? Better, more te tender and more the texture. Let's have a look at them. The tenderness. I need to burn my camera in the process. Let's have a look at so I can see something else. This is the chicken pakora. When you think of pakora, right, you think little fat thing like that, yeah? But this is long. Okay. I had chicken pakora once in Bradford, and that's the reason why I ordered the chicken pakora. Otherwise, I wouldn't have ordered one. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Oh, that, that chicken is that soft. Oh, wow. And the crispiness and lightness of the actual batter itself. Oh. One word. So delicate. But so full of flavour. No, oh, I'm, I'm loving this place already. I'm the sun. The lamb chop. They told me that's going to take 25 minutes because they cook them from fresh. It's not pre-made. So they're not just warming them up on the barbecue. They're making it fresh. Oh yeah. Oh the masala. Everything. Huh? That was literally it melted away. My cameraman telling me it's all on my face. I don't really care. Right? But that honestly there's a that there is a really big difference there what you just said about it being fresh and then pre-made. Wow. Right? I'm gonna move on to the fish, let's go. So he's got his chili sauce, he's got his mayonnaise, he's mixed it together like that, right? And then, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try this fish. Ooh. Ooh. You know what, again, this is bringing back such lovely memories of Bradford because I tried their fish there, their fish fry was just ridiculous. And the menu here is very, very similar. Right. 
Oh, yeah. What a... Fish. The herbs and spicy but this fish, wow. I gotta say it, this has got to be one of the best fishes you're gonna eat in Birmingham. That batter or that fish fry is beautiful. Forget the hack, forget the sauce. This is unbelievable. Crunchy, lemony, soft fish. That is beautiful. The fish is on the blue. Welcome to the main. Come on in. So look at this. This is the 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 tikka donna. It gets served exactly the way it would if you was like taking out. So on on a naan with the tikka, the salad, the sauces, everything, the onions. I'm going straight in. Right? So it's not separate. So also on one plate. Come on back in. These lots, chili sauce and mayonnaise, when combined together, makes a wicked combo. Oh, it's chewy, so full of flavor. The lines are lightweight, they're not very heavy. Mm. Oh, well, then same thing, but we saw the machines in the kitchen and they automatically cut this off and this is their homemade chicken donut recipe again look that chili sauce and mayonnaise a bit of a filthy job right but someone's gonna do it wow no wonder people come here just for the donut that donut is beautiful very very nice and that sauce really complements it so so well and you would just sit there eating it just like this. Mm. The bottle donuts. The chicken and the lamb tikka. Right? Outstanding. But the chicken by far. So much flavor and the little little bites. Wow. Right. I think I better move on to something else. I love it. The fresh ginger, the green chilies. Right? It's it looks very appetizing. Now we've got a selection of naan or roti. So I've tried the naan, right? With the, the shawarma and the donna. Okay. So I'm going to go for the roti option now. Like I said to you, if these guys are bringing Bradford to Birmingham, they better get this right. And they did. Come back in. They so, so rich in flavor right a lot of people can get dal wrong which is a very simple dish but these are very down to the tea the masala and everything and the great use of coriander the ginger mm. oh yeah we don't need to go to Bradford anymore we could do that shimla in Birmingham right next up is this bad boy the meat handi Again, look at the use of the of the of the fresh ginger, the coriander. It makes such a lovely, lovely difference. Right. Okay. I'm looking for soft meat. I'm looking for the consistency of the masala. Oh. Forget what they do. They are giving us proper traditional Pakistani household dishes, and the flavors are too match. I'm actually blown there. I've seen something else. You better check that out. My apologies. You can order the chicken donut or any donut two ways: either on the naan as like a takeout style, or as a restaurant style. So where the naan comes separate and the donut comes separate like this okay probably better to show you the donut in this manner but I tell you the masala on this donut is ridiculous again we're gonna go for the whole mayonnaise and chili sauce thing the masala right one way to describe it it's got like a Pakistani Mediterranean twist 
So full of flavour, not all the kind of chilies, but the chicken is so soft and sucky. Right? Probably one of the best donuts, honestly, I've had. Oh, look at that. Again. Oh, look at that. Fully loaded up. And that's how you have a proper donut. There's no better other way than to finish off a already very, very heavy meal with a mango nasi. If you didn't think it was heavy enough, you'll wash it all down with one of these, eh? Not for a fatty study. Using proper mangoes in it. It's not as thick as I thought it would be, but it's still fresh enough. But just off the main stretch of the Ladyful Road, literally, right? Beautiful building. It's got boot style seating. Quite a bit of seating going on. Lovely, lovely style. There's a. a everybody's started dressed, right? I don't know what to expect, but when I found out that the owners are from Bradford, I was expecting a lot because Bradford, as you know, is capital of curry in the UK. Right? But they, they specialise in proper, proper, traditional Pakistani food. So the expectation when the is quite high. Now, I mean, the starters, which that's going to be the best fish fry Birmingham has to offer, 100%. Shimla's. The only other place you're going to find that is probably going to be somewhere like Bradford, right? Really top class. The masala, the, 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 the consistency of the actual, the battery itself and the lovely fish inside. Excellent. The lamb chops, yeah, they took 25 minutes to cook, but you know what? With the difference, you can tell that as soon as you eat them because they taste, they taste absolutely brilliant. Dynamite prawns are really on par as well. Then we had the, the, uh, the donna, the meat donna and the chicken donna hands down the chicken on it all day long again the, the ingredients used the in-house secrets okay it feels like a mediterranean pakistani sort of twist donna full of flavor and it goes so well with their mayonnaise and chili sauce combo right uh, then we have the meat honey and we have the thai honey both on par looked as if i was eating home cooked food that's the only way I can explain it. Every single thing about this place, right, was like home cooked ingredients, home cooked love. You know what? Welcome Bradford to Birmingham, Shimla's. Overall, this is what these guys are sc scoring, right? You are watching it, right? Can you watch it? The video reviews. If you have to try last time, mind blowing stuff. It's I walked into the I'm a stone and they didn't even give me a cheese. Oh, they seriously.